Welcome to what you should consider to be the most important video in this traffic building series. And that is the fact that you need to actually track and test and know the stats for your sites and the links that you're producing to see what's actually effective in your traffic campaigns. Let's say, for example, you're sending traffic from sites like Facebook, Twitter, Hub Pages, Squidoo Lenses, you're using traffic exchanges, form signature files, you're giving away free reports left, right, and center. Don't you think it's actually important then to know what's working for you, what's actually bringing you the traffic that you need so you can then proceed to continue down that path and using those traffic streams? If you're not keeping stats on your traffic, even if it's just something simple like how many clicks it's getting, then you're not going to know what's working for you. So in this video, we're going to introduce you to some tools that you can be using that are free and paid for that actually help you in that process. There's one piece of software that I want to introduce you to that's actually a fantastic tool that can really exponentially help you in your business because it automates a lot of the processes and procedures for you. It allows you to collect data and rotate links with ease so you can use it for more than just basic counting of clicks. So it's something you might want to consider and take a look at. It's called the Click Maximizer, and it's available at theclickmaximizer.com. And it's just going to be a useful tool when you're driving traffic to your website. So it's something for you to go check out and find out more about, and it's at theclickmaximizer.com. But it's a good tracking tool, a way to generate and send traffic using just the same link over again. A free option you can get hold of to begin your campaigns if you'd like to is something like Viral URL. It's at viralurl.com. And with this site, you set up links with inside the Viral URL site that are then redirecting to your particular site or whatever link you're trying to promote or maybe just get traffic to, and you can then traffic. The advantage of using something like this is it also then puts a little ad if you want it to at the top or the bottom of your page with like a banner ad or a little bar ad so that then when someone is going to go to a site of yours, they may see an ad, and that way they'll go and click on it, which might then in turn get revenue, but it also adds up and gives you points for more advertising services of your own products, your own sites, etc. The only thing I'd say to be wary of in this process is if you're using it to track traffic back to your sites for just purely content that you're sending people to, what might happen is people see ads and click away from your content when you might be just wanting to drive them to your sites in the initial stages, but it's not about actually generating revenue. It's more about just generating the traffic. If you use a service like this and they see an ad that they like and they click away from your site, you potentially lose that person. Have a look at it. Make use of it. It's a good way to be using a combination of advertising, list building, and also cloaking links just to get tracking stats. If you're getting started, it's a tool you might want to consider, but just check it out for yourself and see how you feel it fits into your business model. I've also included as a free resource for you in this course, a PHP script that's free for you to use that can give you stats and information just purely on clicks alone. So if in the beginning you just want to see how many times a link is being clicked, you can use this script effectively just to give those counts and that information to you. As you can see on the top left of the screen here, this particular page tells me that I've had 238 clicks to an ad that's placed on one of my sites. I'm just going to paste in the actual link for you. You can see where it actually goes to. So I'm just going to put it in the URL where it actually goes and going at the moment. If I hit enter here, it's going to take us to a site promoting a hosting company. There you go. You can see it's a site it's called fatcow.com. They do unlimited hosting accounts. Uh, this is a splash page that they arrive at and it's a click that goes from one of my sites just it's one link that i'm tracking i've got many links coming to the site but one link on one particular post is generating those clicks for me and you can see the information here and because we've just used the link if i refresh the page it should there we go increase to 239 so it actually shows you that it's being used and I've included that script for you for free inside the resources section that you can be using to get started. But again, once you start getting a bit more complex and you start wanting to track one-time offers, splash pages, ads, and all sorts of other links, especially if you're going to be using traffic exchanges, then you do well to check out the Click Maximizer site, which gives you far more information and options than something like the basic script that I've included for you in this course. I hope that helps. 
Don't forget, you want to be tracking where everyone's coming from so you know which best tools are working for you, which sites are giving you the best traffic and the most regular traffic, and it'll help you to spot trends as well. Thanks for watching.